this is the Ivy League Astrologer with the Pisces Terrascope for December. This is for Vedic Pisces. Um, if you're not sure of your Vedic signs, check out galacticcenter.org, which is run by Joni Petri, um, for a free chart calculator. Um, okay, so for Pisces for December. First card out is the Magician in Reverse, which shows that you might feel a little out of control right now, or just like you're not in control of the flow of events in your own life. Or maybe something has gotten out of control, some like growth out of control, like some things that you thought were under control have been kind of growing behind your back is what I kind of feel, or just growing around the edges, like you're looking somewhere else, but there's all these other factors that are cropping up all of a sudden, and maybe you've been confronted with these. It's like a writing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a side story going on that you have not been aware of um, and that maybe you're becoming aware of. Yep, I think you're becoming aware of it this month. You're gathering it, as in I gather. <laughs> I gather this has been going on. I had no idea. Um, so yeah, I would say you're gathering all these disparate things together and kind of forming a story. Your story may not be complete yet, but you're getting it. But you still kind of got your head down. Like you're not really ready to know the whole story because it would hurt you to know the whole story. And I think it would hurt your sense of self to know the whole story. Um, because this may be something that you had a hand in whether willingly or unwilling, or wittingly, I would say, rather than willingly, whether wittingly or unwittingly, it seems like something that you maybe had a hand in breaking someone else's heart um, without really knowing that that's what you were doing or without that being your intention at any rate. Like I said, there's kind of a situation that got out of control, which has been coming up a lot, actually. Um, it's not so much that it got out of control, it's just that it has offshoots that you were not aware of. Like there's all this growth, this kind of undercover growth, uh, this other language that is appearing this month, this other kind of text, <laughs> other kind of tale that's coming out of the woodwork, mm, coming out of the woodwork this month. Mm. Somebody's hurt. Maybe it's more than one somebody that's hurt. You're hurt. Somebody else is hurt. Maybe a third person is hurt too. And right now, it just feels like you're in the rain period of it where you're like, oh, I'm standing out of the rain and everything is wrong. And, you know, it's just kind of that like high fidelity moment where he's like out in the rain booth and the rain, you know, out in the phone booth in the rain or whatever. It's just that kind of like shitty feeling of just being like, uh, why life? So there's a little bit of that this month, maybe, as you're gathering together all the threads of this story that you didn't know or kind of knew, but weren't in your, were maybe in your peripheral vision, but um, now they're right in front of your face. So. Um, so that's kind of coming together. Yeah, I feel like as you're gathering knowledge about this, as the pieces are coming together, it hurts more and more to kind of really look at it. And so maybe you're kind of going off to take some time for reflection, some time on your own, and looking. Not only, it's like, it's not even like you're looking at where you've been. like you're looking for a way forward that is away from who you have been or what you have done emotionally and it's not just in this situation I think it's a pattern that you're looking to move away from and you're feeling shame about it you're feeling ashamed um, and you're feeling like it's time to change you know it's time to change um, I feel like you've started that journey, but you're not sure kind of what you need for the road ahead. So you're coming, you're coming back 
yeah, they're coming back to this situation to try to turn it around. Try to turn it upside down, try to turn it around. And to tell somebody something that they didn't know. To read them a scroll, to let them know something that they didn't know that fills in the picture for them. Um, but there's something else, too. You're telling part of the story, but maybe you're not telling the whole story, which is interesting. Something else waiting in the wings. Hmm. Or maybe someone's not telling you the whole story. Um, mm -hmm, yep, there's a, so there's a story that they want to present, and they want you to believe that it is the earnest and complete truth. Do you know, or somebody, or if you're doing this, then the other person kind of knows but that's not all of it. They're waiting to hear the rest. They're waiting for that other shoe to drop. And there are other shoes that need to drop. There are other shoes out there. But you want to be forgiven, is what I feel like. But part of why you want to be forgiven is that it's just too dark out there otherwise. It's like suddenly you're afraid of the dark. Suddenly you're afraid of like what may be out there for you if you keep on the path that you're on. But you're not entirely sure about, like I said before, it's like you're not entirely sure about how to get to where you want to go. So you're kind of just like you're wearing the cloak of going there. It's like you're, um, it's kind of like you're being showy about your solitude. Or something or showy about your self-reflection like you're like hey guys I'm over here really busily contemplating my life and stuff so like don't like no pictures please <laughs> yeah it's kind of like that <laughs> uh, Pisces of course this could all be happening to you that somebody else is kind of sending this energy your way um, mm -hmm. yeah no I think this person that you, if you're trying to fool somebody and you may not be exactly trying to fool them so much as trying to present your best version of yourself, which is not an entirely complete version. And I think this person knows better. It's like they're almost tapping their foot waiting for the rest of the story. They're like, mm-hmm, okay, and then, <laughs> um, and you're like, no, and then, and they're like, and then, and they're like, no, and then, and they're like, and then. Um, so yeah, I would say keep working on that. If this is you, I would say keep on working on that, you know, that you can actually, so you can find a way to tell the whole story. Um, and if it's, it's somebody else who's kind of bringing this, like, not, it's not even too good to be true. It's just not the whole truth. If somebody else is bringing this to you. I think you're going to know. And you're going to be strong about it. It's not what you want to hear. And it's like you're disappointed in this person. It's like you're disappointed in this person because you think they can do better. It's not so much that you're like mad at them for lying to you or whatever. It's more that you're just like, man, you know, come on, man. You're better than this. Um... So that's going on. Ooh, at the same time, something else really great is happening, though. At the same time, you're getting your wish in some way, or your cups are full, you're happy about something. That's great. You're happy about something. Something is really going your way. Um, yeah, you're feeling, like, satisfied. You're feeling, like, proud of yourself. And also just, like, happy. Just happy about something. So, you know, it could depend on how this is all working. Like, if you're the person who's kind of trying to be forgiven, it may be that you think that your facade has been good enough, in which case, I'm not so sure that's true. <laughs> um, and if you're the person who is receiving this kind of communication, then it may be that you... 
um, are proud of yourself for kind of seeing through it, but being strong enough to be okay anyway, even if this is something that you kind of really want to hear from this person, but you're like, it's just not there, and I'm not going to pretend like it is there. And somehow that kind of negating, it like, allows your cups to fill up, allows you to feel like, okay, I'm actually, I'm actually good, you know? So it's that kind of feeling. So that's, it's possible that that's related to this, but it's also possible just that there's somebody new coming into your life. Um, that seems quite likely as well that, um, yeah, there's somebody new coming into your life and that you're feeling hopeful about that or you're feeling like, finally, <laughs> awesome, my turn. You know, it might be that kind of feeling too. Um, that you're like, ooh, something for me. Exciting. My name on this one. Um, so that's kind of cool. And yeah. Yeah. So there may be a new thing starting for you this month also. May not get, you know, fully going, but it may be at least glimpsed this month. Um, and then I feel like there's also the end of a period of searching, the end of a period of not quite, of waiting, of just waiting on something to start, you know? I feel like that's kind of done, that you're able to maybe live more in the here and now a little bit than you have been if you've been like, you know, kind of putting off your life in a way of like, well, as soon as this happens, then I can, you know, do this, do that. Uh, I feel like it's sort of like you're starting to live now. Um, there is a danger of going back and repeating old patterns. So be careful of that, especially if you have addictions or things that you fought hard to overcome. Be careful of going back down the same path. Maybe especially if you are feeling sad about some of this stuff that's going on or feeling like, you know, you're being strong but it's taking a toll on you, be careful that you kind of don't go for the easy out. Yeah, I think easy out is a big thing here somehow, that the false sunlight or something, you know, like like the easy, the easy light. Don't go for that. Um, yeah, don't go back and make the same mistakes that you've made before. And that could be in a lot of different arenas. Um, but if it ended if it ended up in a bad place before, don't go back and do it again. Whatever it is, you know, whether it's the way you speak to someone, whether it's you know the way you are on the job, whether it's the way you are with your family. If it left you feeling shitty before, don't go back there. That's kind of what I feel from that. Um, and then this is also, yeah, it's like you're done waiting to go back down this path. <laughs> you know, like if you finally just got rid of something that was a bad influence, a bad habit, or a person that never seemed to make you feel good about yourself or something, it's like you're done waiting for that situation to change or you're done waiting for your turn to go back there. You know, like, it's like if you were an alcoholic and you stopped drinking, um, I mean, I think... For, al for alcohol, it's more, like, clear that, like, you need to stop drinking forever. But maybe if you were, like, a social smoker and then you, like, stopped smoking but you were, like, oh, I can't wait till I am, like, over cigarettes enough to be able to have a cigarette every once in a while when I have a beer. So it's that kind of thing where it's, like, you know you can't really do that again, but maybe you had this idea that you could go back to something that was bad for you and just do a little bit of it, you know? It's like it's like that kind of feeling is over this month. Like you're finally you're looking at it and you're like, I can just never go back there, you know? And that's for the best. Um, and you may be feeling a little bit like sad about that or challenged about it, but actually I think you look pretty peaceful. I think there's a little bit of sadness of like, okay, now I have to kind of change my spots a little bit. I have to change my spots in this way that I'm not quite sure how to do it. This goes back again to wanting to change and not quite knowing how, but knowing that you need to. But this is like, this is like at the end of the month, it's more of a realization that you can't just kind of change it all with a flourish. You can't all just be like, poof, I'm a different person now. It's like it is going to take this reflection and it is going to take time and it's going to develop over the... Yeah, it's going to develop like in time. It's going to develop... Uh, it's not going to be lickety-split. That's actually okay. I feel like you will have reached your peace with that. 
by the end of the month. And yeah, you may be a little sad that you're letting something go, but I think that you're going to maybe quickly see results from that, actually. Like, there's something new coming in. Under cover of night, I want to say, which is a weird phrase. But there's something coming in pretty quickly, I think, for you. Um, something that's going to not make this loss seem so big. So, um, yeah. So that's what I see for Pisces for this month. Um, that's what I see for Pisces for this month. And, yeah, please post in the comments. Let me know um, if any of that resonated for you. I would love to hear, um, yeah hear whatever feedback you guys have um thanks so much for watching and yeah please feel free to post in the comments thank you bye